I study geography at UCL. I'm currently first year, just finished my exams yesterday. I'm studying a master's in venture capital and private equity at UCL. What's your best advice for getting into UCL? I think I would say it's so it's mainly based on grades and personal statement, but um, a lot of people think that with the personal statements about checking boxes and making thinking about how many books you've included and things like that. But I'd say try and choose a degree that you're really, really passionate about, that you really care about, and try and convey that in your personal statement, everything you do, because it's not just about the books, it's about your worldview and your passion for for what you hope to achieve through your degree. And if you can bring that forward, I think that would make a really big difference. My best advice for getting into UCL is really work on your personal statement. Make it more than personal. What you're expecting from UCL and what do you want to get out of it? I just basically explain what I was working at in Barcelona and how this master's could help me build a career in the space I want to work at. Uh, I study arts and sciences at UCL. Uh, it's an interdisciplinary program where you can basically study anything you want and uh, interests you. I'm currently studying applied medical sciences at University College London. I'm studying history, politics, and economics at UCL. My best advice to get in would be really to, yeah, work a lot and really think uh, of your application and what you want to do and like try anything you want. Try and get the best grades and uh, try to pursue what you want to really study. Actually, not only centering yourself in doing work that, for example, you're doing at school, just stand your limits. Try and do courses online. I did a, um, an online course on cardiology, for example, because I was interested on, on the heart. So um, yeah, that basically helped me for, for my um, modules here, which I did on cardiovascular system. So just expand your knowledge in, in fields you like. I mean, like my friend said, just, just try to expand your knowledge. Yeah, I mean, it's really important just not to be like the typical hard-working student just try to do other things. I guess the personal statement is the most important uh, especially for uh, the program I study and so I really think everyone should really like, focus on who you are and not try to lie be uh, as uh, true as you can be and uh, yeah that's my best advice. I study maths with economics at UCL. I study anthropology in UCL. I'm studying clinical mental health sciences at UCL. It's my master's. What's your best advice on getting into UCL? Okay, definitely the basic advice is getting the grades that it requires because there's no other way of getting in. And the other piece of advice is being very specific in your personal statement. There's like no space for waffle, basically. There's like no space for that. You have to be very specific to the point so the admissions office is gonna know that you are certain and about what you want to do. I would say take your time before you apply. Know exactly what you want to apply to. Research the department very thoroughly. Email people, ask your questions, see what research is being done. Maybe two things. First is to always do what you like, both at school and then at university, because that'll make it a lot easier to get the good grades and make your statement, like your application, more meaningful for you and for the reader. And then also to not be too married to any one university. I think is probably a good one because personally I wasn't married to any of my universities I just applied because I googled what good universities were and then I put them in and was like well that's that done and then clearly obviously some people really really love the idea of a university but at the end of the day I think a lot of them are more similar than you might realize and so you'll probably do fine at any of them if you like what you're studying. Before you apply get in contact to network definitely network and just write a personal statement that really shows why you want this. Oh, practical tips. I think uh, so much of it is luck, honestly, because you know it might depend on the educational system you come out of or where you were living or what language is your native language. There's so many things you don't really have control over. I mean, here in the UK, it's academics. So I guess try to study as hard as you can. But again, that's, that's also kind of luck if you even have the options to study what you like in your education system.